Father Paul here with another Good Book Club recording. It's day six. It's Saturday. We're reading uh, from the second chapter of the Gospel of John, verses 1 through 12. So here we find the, the wedding at Cana. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. When the wine ran out, Jesus' mother said to him, They don't have any wine. Jesus replied, Woman, what does that have to do with me? My time hasn't come yet. His mother told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby there were six stone water jars used for the Jewish cleansing ritual, each able to hold about twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Now draw some from them and take it to the head waiter. And they did. The head waiter tasted the water that had become wine. He didn't know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The head waiter called the groom and said, Everyone serves the good wine first. They bring out the second-rate wine only when the guests are drinking freely. You kept the good wine until now. This was the first miraculous sign that Jesus did in Cana of Galilee. He revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. After this, Jesus and his mother, his brothers, and his disciples went down to Capernaum and stayed there for a few days. This passage gets uh, a reference in our Episcopal marriage rite as a recognition of Jesus placing importance on the sacrament of marriage and the, the institution of marriage by honoring it with the first miracle. Uh, we think of it as a bit more. I think the gospel even indicates here that it is also in part how in early times of ministry that Jesus is gaining trust and building rapport with those he's called to follow him. And so we see uh, both both of these can be true at the same time, and perhaps there's even more going on in this passage if we, uh, as we read it and reflect and see it in the context of this gospel, we'll continue to learn from it in the days ahead. Thanks for watching, listening, and participating in the Good Book Club. We'll see you in church.